Hi Capricorn. So this is a message for Capricorn. Uh, you can look and see what um, planets are in your in the sign of Capricorn in your chart and what house it's in to see how it's applying to you. But I'm looking at a few cards I pulled just to get started. And what I'm wondering is what is it that you're clearing off? It's like you're the, at the last of this clearing. Um, and this is really reminding me of Saturn being in retrograde. And I think it went in retrograde at the beginning of June. And I looked up, it looks like it's going direct on October 10th. And so what I'm seeing is during that time, it's like our karmic things come up for us to clear out and gain wisdom from them. And that's what I'm seeing in the cards that I pulled because first card I got here is um, the High Priestess. And this card is basically, there's things coming up from the below to the surface, um, from the unconscious this, to the surface for you to deal with and clean up. The Six of, the six of Swords card represents um, cleaning up that which could be hindering you could be dangerous in some circumstances but it's like cleaning those things up um it's kind of like there's a treasure buried under there you know what i mean and you've got to clean it up because it was it was um in the dirt or garbage but then the overall energy for this reading is the knight of cups and so what I'm seeing here is there's this like cleaning up and then this movement forward. You could have um, someone coming into your life, particularly a Pisces, but it could be a Scorpio or Cancer as well. But this is basically your integrating what you've learned, the new wisdom that you have, and moving forward forward in your life so this is what I'm saying it's going to it's like this movement forward where you've been stuck dealing with uh, a lot of maybe chaotic things in your life the last few months or yeah and now it's like this movement forward I'm going to go ahead and get some oracle cards pulled out and then we'll go from there and then I will do I'm gonna do fairies and tarot this time uh, just so you know if you want a personal reading you can go to my link down below or you can email me that's all down below also if you want to see daily collective readings that are on TikTok, that's down below as well as I have another YouTube channel if you're interested in uh, learning about like consciousness reality um, and I cover a variety of different things like religion, philosophy, quantum physics, psychology, different things like that. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and pull out some Oracle cards for you. Okay, so what I'm getting here, um, I've got the dream thief, which is refusal of the call. So this is indicating the dream thief basically seduces you into comfort, um, staying where you're at, the same old, same old routine okay um and there's a path that's being open to you but it's like you're kind of seduced into this dream thief energy um the jaguar being reversed indicates there's something that you needs to be released in your life in your mind in the way you're doing things thinking um something needs to be released and then we've got completion which is like the ending of that thing so you're completing something you're wrapping something up Okay, and the last oracle that I've got is Kali Kamasa Nasini, okay? Now, uh, this actually means she who consumes sin. So, those things that are weighing you down, she comes by and consumes them. This can be fear, shame, guilt. Um, she uh, devours sin is what she does. And so... It's like the old stories that you've been telling as to why you can't move forward, 
stories from the past. She basically takes those away so that you can remember who you are and the power that you have within you. So it's funny too because Saturn being retrograde deals with karma, like karma issues. And so this is basically indicating that the karma from um, past things being wiped away. Um, now, I mean karma, when I say karma, I'm talking about um, the shadow side of karma, okay? Because karma is just consequence. It can be good or bad. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this is like those things those things that you may have thought you had coming back to you like well I made a mistake here so now you kind of hold it over your head she consumes that um so let me go ahead and see what we got as far as the story that I'm seeing here um I'm gonna pull some fairies and some tarot so okay Capricorn so I've got your cards pulled um the first card I've got is friends okay now this card indicates that there is people or opportunities like kind of like family um it doesn't have to be like family that you're related to but people who are like-minded okay people who are on the same type of path i guess that you want to go in basically coming into your life um for some of you, this actually could be a pregnancy, just so you know, and that would be like your family that you're birthing. The reason why I say that is because we've got the sun here, which can indicate that, but you could also be dealing with a Leo. Um, I've got more Leo energy here too, because I've got the six of inspiration. It's reversed, but <clears throat> what I'm actually getting is that this is potential. There's some type of opportunity or friendships or relationship coming in this is what i'm seeing and it's being born right now um you've got the ace of emotions here too which is like the ace of cups so this can be new love but what i'm seeing is like there's a lot of happiness with this whatever this is it's um getting you really 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 excited um and in love so even if it's not like a new relationship it's like you feel so much love because you're so excited um you're ecstatic actually the next card you got is ex ecstasis which is ecstasy okay um okay um for some of the some of you this is actually like a rising star so like you're rising to fame you get some kind of opportunity um, that gives you a lot of hope like it's like having this dream for a long time and then all of a sudden this opportunity comes in where you're actually seeing that you're getting what you dreamt of does that make sense because um, we've got the star here could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries I've also got the fool here this is basically indicating you're gonna jump on this you're like yes this is what I wanted yes I'm doing this you're all in okay now um, the next card I got is, I have a hard time, <laughs> Nick the Niomancer, okay, sorry, Nick the Niomancer, okay, this talks about needing to pay attention to the details, so it's like, okay, yeah, I got this opportunity, now I got to get everything ready. Okay, this is being ready. And that was what I was talking about within the in the beginning of the deck. It's like you have some cleaning up to do. Um, now you've got the three of wands. This is like a dom this is like a domino effect on your life because you taking this step, going in this direction, um, getting this opportunity and taking it is going to lead to a lot of experience like <laughs> a lot of great things but also a lot of experience in your life where you haven't had it before so you really need to clear out um, for some of you this is going to be leaving friends and family that you already have or commitments that you already have behind with this ten of materials in reverse it could be leaving a job too this is um, it could be 
like there could be some kind of financial loss that doesn't matter because <laughs> you're going to have so much gain. Um, the only thing here that I see as like a warning is getting too carried away. Like too carried away in the dream because um, we've got uh, the floater guy here. Hold on, I'm trying to pick it up. What's his name? Hat Hoff, the floater. But he's in reverse, meaning like you're so over the top in the clouds daydreaming like with this opportunity that you could basically miss some details. Does that make sense? Miss some of the details and it could throw you off. Um, now you're really happy <laughs> this is all happening really fast so be really prepared um and with the ace of voices it's here in reverse okay this is like missing those some details there's like i said i i feel like there's details you're missing because you're flying so high because this is going so fast happening so quick all at once that there's just some things you're missing I'm not saying anything really bad or anything like that. Just some things you're missing. Um, and basically you need to reconnect, like take time out to yourself to connect to your intuition and to the source um, of all information. Because again, I keep seeing missing this information. Because um, this is seeing like things really clear. You see the path ahead, right? You see where you're going. You're seeing this new opportunity, how it's going to be. You're daydreaming about it. But in doing so, you're missing that there is hurdles that you're going to still have to overcome. The mountain behind you. It's like you're not seeing the mountain behind you. So there could be something creep up on you if you're not aware. And so you need to make sure and become aware. Um, we've got the hermit here. You could be dealing with an earth or air sign because I've got air a lot of air here also the hermit is Virgo you could be dealing with a Virgo um, but the the muse of voices is truth speaking truth revealing your truth um, you could have someone revealing truth to you like that's what could be coming in it could be the hurdle And you're going to have to connect, like go back into yourself. You know what? I just got something that came to my mind. I'm going to have to clarify that. Um, <clears throat> why is the hermit here? Oh, wow. Okay, we've got the devil and the magician in reverse. Let me see what's on the bottom. Queen of Voices. Okay, so what I'm seeing, I got that devil. Now, you are, rep uh, the devil is a Capricorn, Capricorn sign, okay? Um, it's representing the hermit though. So what I'm getting is that falling into old habits or old patterns of thinking. And so like you could be doing. Also, I'm getting that the person or um, opportunity that you're working with, it looks like that it could feel like a burden sometimes. Um, maybe hard to understand or get along with in some ways like there's going to be disagreements I guess um, but it does it still looks really good I, I feel like um, what you're going to do is there's going to be some kind of emotional balance that you get from this um, it's almost like this opportunity could make you feel all kinds of emotions with the I got the muse of emotions okay um, all kinds of emotions and it's like you're learning how to like navigate embrace them feel them you might not be used to it express them 
and this is a this is um, a growing opportunity for you like it it's um, you're growing for some of you um, there could be like a new opportunity that comes in that's better than what you were hoping for but then the past opportunity comes back around so like a past person okay um, and you have to be strong basically to choose what you feel like is really for you does that make sense so that's what I'm getting there um, let me go ahead and pull some Oracle messages to end with and see what I get and also just um, one thing for some of you that are finding out you're pregnant um, pregnancy and ch having a baby is difficult it's like you love it, but it also is difficult, especially like if you have anything like um, any kind of complication or postpartum depression, anything like that can be really difficult. So that's the type of thing that I'm talking about where it's like there's this um, hard part to it, but also it's like you are loving every minute of it, minute of it even if it is hard in some ways. Okay, so the cards that I got, you got truth. This is an honest desire to know and speak truth produces beneficial results. So that could be what your one of your karmic lessons basically that you're learning. Um, preparation, like I said, being prepared. Luck comes most often to the person in place where preparation, opportunity, and skill meet. And that's what I feel like is happening. This whole thing is about. Um, and delay. Confront the natural tendency to delay the finishing of a creative endeavor. So do not put it off. That could be where you run into problems is putting off like, okay, well, say you signed a contract or something and you've got to get so so much done by the certain date. It's like, well, I still got this much time. Don't do that because that could cause it to be harder than it is. Um, but anyway... So, like I said, if you want a personal reading, uh, the information for that's down below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.